Hi, this is Pastor Rick. You know Mother's Day is coming. It'll be on Sunday, May 10th, and we'll be having services at 10.40 a.m. I want to give you a personal invitation to join us on that day. Um, if you're a mom, you're especially welcome, and if you're here to honor your mom, you're also very welcome. I want to talk about moms. You know, the Bible says in the Ten Commandments, there's one special one. It says, honor your father and your mother that your days may be prolonged in the land which the Lord your God gives you. It says a couple things. One, we're supposed to honor our parents. And I don't know about you, my parents were not perfect, um, but I did know that my, my mother loved me and she did a lot of things that were sacrificial to take care of me and my sisters. But it says something that's kind of, in a way it's a little humorous. It says that your days may be prolonged. But my wife has said sometimes is that I brought you in and I can take you out. That's when you're trying to discipline younger children. We're Thankfully all our kids are grown up. We don't have to do that anymore. But the truth is we all ought to remember our parents and, and our moms especially have sacrificed a lot for us to get us to where we are in life. And uh, I think all of us would do well to honor our mothers on Mother's Day. So I encourage you to do so. Now, what, why do mothers deserve to be honored? My goodness, there's so many different reasons. One is they carried each one of us inside of them for nine months. Then they uh, very painfully gave birth to each of us and that was just the beginning. Then they had to uh, watch over us, uh, change, change us, uh, wash our clothes, feed us, get up in the middle of the night when we woke up during the night, uh, scold us and, 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 and try to correct us when we really needed it, even though we resisted it. And they were oftentimes patient. If we got hurt, guess who we ran to for when we needed help? We ran to mom. Uh, when we were hungry, guess who we asked to get us some food? When we were crying, guess whose shoulder we cried on? You could just go on with all the many things that mothers do for us. You know, let's take a day, in fact we ought to do it every day, and remember our moms and give them some respect and let them know how much we love them and we're thankful for all they've done for us. If you're like me, you know my mom's in heaven today. I can't say that to her today. But I thought, I know a way that I can honor my mother's memory. Look for some mother in our community or in our church that's uh, alone and invite her to come over or uh, go visit her and just keep her company because people get lonely when they're alone uh, like that. And um, just do something that's kind to do for a mother and you'll feel better that you did it and they'll be very grateful, okay? God bless you. Have a great day. See you Mother's Day.